Yo, what is going on guys? It is Nate here, and Black Ops 3 is just around the corner. Right now, it's November 2nd at the time that I'm recording this commentary. And Black Ops 3 comes out Friday, so that's just a few days, and I'm really excited. It's, oh my god, it's been two years since I played a good Call of Duty. I mean, I've been playing Black Ops 2 the whole time in between with Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. Played them for a little bit, put them down, went back to Black Ops 2, went to other games... But I'm just really excited to get a good Call of Duty, and I know this Call of Duty is going to be good. The thing is, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be the best game of all time. It's probably not going to win Game of the Year, although I haven't played the campaign or anything. I mean, who knows? Maybe it will be good. But it's not going to win Game of the Year. That's probably going to go to Fallout. But I'm just really looking forward to a game that I can play over and over again, and I think that this game is just going to have a lot of variety. You know, I was watching this MLG stream it was to like hype up the game and hype up the MLG season, whatever. I don't even know what it's called anymore. I don't think they're with MLG TV, but it was pretty much professional players playing competitively as like North Americans versus Europeans or something. And it looked really, really fun and interesting. They showed off a bunch of new maps. I mean, the Nuketown trailer just got released. The live action trailer just got released as of yesterday. And everything looks really good. Speaking of that live action trailer, how come Hollywood, when they design a video game movie, how come it can't look as good as like Destiny and Call of Duty when they pull out their live action trailers? Those live action trailers just blow me away every time. They, they look amazing. But I don't know. Whenever Hollywood makes a video game movie, they're just garbage like Hitman and stuff like that. Anyway, back on subject. I think Black Ops 3 is going to have a lot of variety and that's just going to lead to a long lifespan. When it comes to advanced warfare, there's only two guns you can use. I mean, unless you're a sniper and you use the Moors, which is just one sniper. And then you use the Bell 27 Obsidian Steed and the ASM-1 Speakeasy. Now, of course, Advanced Warfare did do some good things, which I hope Treyarch does. I hope Treyarch uses these Supply Drops, and yes, Supply Drops are coming back, but they're only going to be for cosmetic stuff, like armor and camos and stuff like that. But don't worry, it's not going to be like the Bell popping up, and then boom, Obsidian Steed, easy mode. Anyway, so I think that Treyarch should use the Supply Drop DLC money that they're going to get, because I'm assuming it's going to cost real life money. I doubt you could earn currency in game, but that's yet to be discovered. I think they should use that to put the resources towards free DLC. Now, I'm not saying, you know, the map pack should be free, because, I mean, people have already paid for their season pass, and there's no way Activision's going to make any DLC free. You know, it's not Titanfall. Titanfall right now is $5, and you get the game and all of its DLC for free, which is cool. I mean, you don't have to buy a separate season pass. There's, a, I mean, Battlefield's giving out a ton of free DLC. GTA's doing a lot of DLC. So there's no reason that Activision and Treyarch can't give out a few guns or you know, camos or something for free just to spice up the game, unless they're greedy, which I know Activision is, of course. But I feel like that would extend the game for the more casual community, because not everyone buys the season pass. Pretty much only the tryhards or the YouTubers, which is pretty much all the tryhards, only they buy the season pass. And so <laughs> that's why I don't like buying the season pass on other games except for Treyarch, because when you get into a, a DLC lobby, you're like, oh, sweet, new maps, and then you realize everyone's a tryhard, so it's not that fun. But anyway, that's a, another topic for another video. I think that, you know, they should give away free guns. I mean, the Peacekeeper, that came with a DLC, it wasn't free, but that was one of my favorite guns of all time, and I would have missed out on it if Treyarch didn't decide to make a new weapon for the game. You know, maybe they held out and it was supposed to go in the base game and they just kept it around for DLC. But I hope that they had new weapons and I, I really doubt that they wouldn't. I mean, Ghost added new weapons, Advanced Warfare added new weapons, Treyarch's probably going to add new weapons. I mean, they add new weapons to zombies anyway, so might as well put those in this, uh, the multiplayer, not the single player. But yeah, I'm just really expecting a lot out of this game and I'm hoping that my hopes aren't dashed instantly. Just like Star Wars Episode Seven, a lot of people are looking forward to it. They think there's no way that this movie can fail, it's going to be the best movie of all time. And I think that a lot of them just think that the prequels suck, and then the movie is going to be amazing compared to it. And I hope that people don't have super high expectations for Black Ops 3 because, you know, Ghost and Advanced Warfare didn't meet expectations, and so this game's just going to be amazing. Because it's definitely going to be good, I think. I played the beta, it was, it was really fun, it was one of the best Call of Duty's I've ever played. But I just hope people don't get disappointed when they play it for one night and it's just, you know, it doesn't meet their expectations. I feel like when it comes to Call of Duty, it takes me like two weeks for me to decide whether I like the game or not. On opening night, 
when I play at midnight, you know, obviously I'm only pe playing against people who went to the midnight release and pre-ordered, and they're a bunch of tryhards too, and it's a fun time, don't get me wrong, it's a new game, you're unlocking all these things for the first time, you get to hear that rank up sound all the time, and it's a really, really fun time, but I just feel like you can't make a decision super fast when it comes to a Call of Duty game. I mean, there's going to be a lot of YouTubers, probably myself included, that are going to put out these first impression videos, and I'm not sure that you could really listen to them, because when it came to Advanced Warfare, they're like, oh yeah, it's super fast paced, the guns are awesome, but then like two weeks later, everyone's like, it's too fast, it's too chaotic, the spawns are bad, the score streaks suck, you can only use one gun, so I feel like if you haven't pre-ordered the game and you're really unsure, I'd wait a few weeks before YouTubers start complaining and then you could hear what's going on. And then if you're just really disappointed in the game right away, I would still keep playing for another few weeks before you say this sucks or this is super awesome. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I've been rambling for a while now. I tried to do this commentary like 5,000 times, but I kept on rambling on these random things that made no sense, so I decided to, to delete them. So hopefully this is good enough for you guys. Anyway. This has been Nate Figs, and I approve this message. I'll see you guys in Black Ops 3. I'm getting a PS4 as well, so if you have an Xbox One or PS4, you can add me if you'd like. My gamer tag on both is Nate Figs, and then we can play sometime. It'll be fun. Hopefully. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by, guys.